The views and opinions on this show are for entertainment purposes only. The only factual information is any story that has happened to AT2 are the parties involved. Other than that, go ahead and get you a drink, get you something to eat. Just relax and enjoy the show. Let's have fun. All right, y'all, let's get real. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Talk the Real Deal with AT2. And yes, I'm your boy AT2, and I am back from vacation. Did y'all miss me? Y'all better say yes, by the way. (laughs) What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? How you living? How you feeling? Uh, What's up, sister girl? What's up, Miss Joelle? What's up, Wendy? What's up, Vegas girl? Thank you for stopping by. Of course, Andrea Nelson is up in the building. We got Jackie. What's up, Jackie? We got Celine. Who else we got up in here? I've seen a few of you in here. Uh, Mina, of course. What's up, Mina? The hardest working moderator in all of history. You know, the moderator that everybody wants to steal from me. <laughs> what's up kennedy kennedy up in the house thank you thank you thank you uh that picture was like from a year ago so i decided to use it um some people would be like oh you're using old pictures you're trying to hoodwink and trick people uh what's up starfish what's up wendy lucas what's up nikki all right all right maureen okay Odie. we got opal up in the house we got pamela what's up pamela ain't angel angel of mine you know, you got to sing it like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to try something new right now. Um, you know, if have you ever went to church before um, and they go like, hey, we're going to give you like a minute to um, say hi to your neighbor. So if you see somebody in the chat, you see a friend or somebody you've never seen in the chat, go ahead and say hi to them right now. And I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds to do, actually, I'm gonna give y'all a minute to do so. Here we go. Are you tired of signing up for memberships that don't even give you any exclusive content? Well, come over to Death Row Records. I mean, come over to AT2's channel where we will have exclusive content. We'll have pre-shows and after shows for all videos. We also will have exclusive interviews and many vlogs for me when I'm on location, vacation, or wherever I am. I could be at the grocery store, at the gas station, getting a wrap. You just never know what's going on in my life. But anyway, come over to my channel. Join the membership. We're going to have a lot of fun. We got three different levels. We got $6.99, $9.99, and $19.99. Now, some of you are probably wondering, like, 82, your price is way too high. You need to cut it. Just so you can't afford it. You know I'm unemployed. Y'all need to help me out. I'm trying to pay some bills. I'm trying to do this full time. Anyway, y'all, just join the membership. We're going to have so much fun. Go ahead and get the perks down below. You'll see them all there. And you get to use these cool emojis as well too so i'll see you there don't meet me there beat me there um and also if you would like to drop anything in my cash app or anything like that you can go ahead and send that okay i'll stop it all right all right all right deuces y'all all right we are back we are back we are back baby all right so uh my vacation my vacation was um short very short y'all my vacation was short but it was good um it was a chance to get away for a minute. So I did end up going to uh, Reno and Tahoe. Um, the whole, the hotel that we stayed or the casino that we stayed at, it was not, we stayed in Tahoe. Uh, the casino was nice, you know, uh, one money, lost money, you know, the same old, same old stuff that happens. Now it did reignite my um, addiction problem because I really did have like an addiction to like gambling um, a few years ago. Or I should say like a day ago because the the addiction came back. But, um, you know, it's like exciting. You know, when you win money, you know, like, oh, I can double, triple. You know, the slot machines are more of my thing. Like the table games, I get a little intimidated when it comes to the table games, games and I get nervous and I feel like I forget stuff. Oh, damn. Somebody moved into the house in the courtyard right now. And I was like, oh, shit, they probably listen to me right now. But who cares? Uh, what's up, uh, CC Miller? What's up, Maria? Thank you guys for joining. Lindsay, I see you as well. Um, but, uh, you know, you want to you want to 
like here's my thing if you win in the span of like 30 minutes you don't want to waste your time like you know in those first 30 minutes like you want to stay there a long time and like gamble and have fun and see if you can double and triple your money like you ain't trying to give away your money right away you know what i mean so um you know it was fun um I think it's what I needed to come back refreshed because if I just stayed at home and had to deal with everything, then I had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to talk to you guys just, you know, having fun. I think I would be like more upset about the stuff going on in the world and stuff like that. So it was the break that I needed, especially Friday. You know, we all kind of just needed uh, break from social media and stuff like that. But uh, thank you guys for sending your well wishes and hoping that um, my uh, vacation was good. I, you know, I read all the text messages. Hopefully I answered back everybody, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Moving on to um, something a little bit more uh, sensitive. Um, this is Zach Stacy, um, former NFL player. Um, did you guys watch the video? No, I don't play poker. I'm, I'm bad at poker. That's one. If I do do tables, I do like blackjack and stuff like that. Um, but going back to what I was saying, uh, the Zach Stacy story, um, did you guys get a chance to um, see the video? Yeah, Celine, very disgusting. Um, it, it was, uh, I'm going to describe it quickly, but basically it was a situation where um, his girlfriend um his ex-girlfriend let me let me clarify that his ex-girlfriend felt that they weren't doing anything for you know they weren't doing anything and she reported him before and so she decided to record it this time um and then in the video you see that he did strike her um he threw her against the tv she fell on the ground the tv actually falls on her he picks her back up and then choke slams her on like the baby walker. And it, 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 oh, it, it, it's hard. Like, you know, they always say trigger warning, trigger warning, and you like prepare yourself. But at the same time, it still gets to you, you know? And what he did, he should be arrested. He still is under arrest. Now, if he gets, re if he, post bail and gets released um he does have to go back to tennessee she's in florida um and he's in tennessee so he does have to go back to tennessee but just knowing that she said like this was the third time that he did this you know it, it it's it's those situations where when it comes to dv it seems that it happens multiple times. It doesn't seem that it's like a one-off situation. It seems like it happens multiple times. And you know, me being a man, it's almost, it's only so much that I can really say, but what I can say is please, if you are in any of these kind of situations that are not healthy for you, whether it's verbal or physical, please leave, you know, or please protect yourself in the best way you can, you know? Um, if this woman didn't record this, no telling, you know, what would have happened? She said the, um, police, she's in, oh, now, you know, I, I'm from Oakland, but I'm from California, Oakland, California. I'm not from Florida, uh, Oakland, Oakland, Florida. So in Oakland, Florida, she said like, they don't really take domestic violence serious, you know? And so that was kind of like her, uh, her last straw. Like, you know, she was like, I got to record this so I can actually prove this is happening. Um, because in her interview, you know, you didn't see any marks or anything like that. Maybe she covered it up, but, um, you know, you didn't see any marks on her face or anything like that. But for a man to like put his woman, uh, put, put his hands on a woman, and like the way he just manhandled her and just y'all it, it it it's something else it takes your mind to a whole different place and like it makes you be all like okay where is he because i want to whoop his ass you know like f fight me you know i can take it fight me don't fight no woman that you know you can come on now like what the, what the hell are you doing and the woman didn't put her hands on him um, you know, from what we've seen in the video, he just, she said something to the effect that like, you know, things are going to be different around here and, you know, I'm not taking it. And then that's when he just did what he did and tossed her around and man.
sometimes, you know, when it comes to these kind of situations, uh, Kennedy said it was horrible. The Florida law says the broken TV is worth more than she is. Beating her um, is a misdemeanor, but the TV is worth a thousand, so it's a felony. Wow. What? I didn't know about that. Wow. Wow. So the TV is more important than somebody's life. That's crazy, y'all. That is crazy. Is that just in Florida or is that everywhere? If you in Florida, y'all might want to get the hell up out of there because first of all, they got alligators and crocodiles and shit like that. Get get the hell up out of there. I, I'm telling you, I might come on here and pretend to be a thug on YouTube, but if I see a crocodile or alligator, I'm fainting or I'm running first. I'm running, but if I don't if I don't run, that means I fainted and I'm gonna get eaten by the alligator. You know, right, Vegas girl? That's straight up bull BS. You know. That's crazy to me. Yeah, she was on the news and said it herself. Oh, okay. I didn't see when. Well, I know she gave like multiple different interviews to different, uh, uh, you know, news outlets and stuff like that. But I didn't see that. That is crazy. And the way we all seen that video too, like it's all like, no, nah, like this fool don't need a post no bail. No, you go straight to jail. Like, there's no getting off on bail. Go straight to jail. Your ass deserves to rot in jail. And and on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, you would do that in front of your son. You hear the baby crying in the background. You did that in front of your child. How disgusted can you be to do that in front of your child, you know? Granted, it's a baby, and so it might not remember things, but, um, you know, the things that we don't remember, we're, we still get triggers from it, if you guys know what I'm saying, you know? It goes straight to hell by me. Right, right. Bypass jail, go straight to hell. But at least, now I don't know uh, the other detail. I don't know if he turned himself in or they actually found him because, like I said, he lives in Tennessee and then she's in Florida. So I don't know if he turned himself in or um, because they were looking for him. You know, they were looking for him and they couldn't find him. Yeah, man, that was crazy. And with the door open, he did not. Oh. Mm hmm. Yeah, eh, man. Um, oh, going back to the child thing. Um, like I said, you know, you might not, the child might not remember exactly what happened, but things like this is going to say, especially now that this has been made public, is going to stay with the child for a while because they'll be able to see this one day. And it's just, man. It, uh, like I said before, and I can only say it so many times. Um, if you're in a certain situation and you know that it's not healthy for you, whether it be physical or verbal, um, get out of that situation because it's not healthy for you and it's not healthy for anybody else. And you have to also think about your children and then also your family, because not only you are going through it, your children and your family are going through it with you, you know, as well, too. So please just remember that. I know it's easier said than done, but just remember that. Uh, Starfish, let me read your comment. I'm sorry. Um, she doesn't deserve his, his, but, uh, she do doesn't know any better. She's used to, oh, and that's a real thing, Starfish. Um, you know, um, he was on a plane when they caught, oh, okay. Thank you, Kentucky Lady P. Thank you. Okay. He was on an airplane. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's another thing too. Like sometimes you don't know any better that's why it's it's very you know when kids grow up with abuse in the home and stuff like that they see these kind of things and they take on those traits um and they can either think that abuse is okay or they can be the abuser i'm gonna repeat that one more time they either think abuse is okay or they become the abuser, the abuser or the abuse. Three, three things about it. Um, 
Yeah, it, it's very deep. It's very deep. Um, I know that um uh, he was work uh Zach Stacy was working with some kind of charity um or foundation. They actually dropped him. He's not with that uh, foundation anymore. Thank God after this video because definitely you don't need to be nothing apart with anything that deal with with the public, you know. Uh, it's to isolate so they the victims feel like they're trapped and oh that is true because you know how many times uh and jay that's a good one that you brought that up because how many times have we heard like um you know i i'm not from this town i moved to this town didn't know anybody and you know i was alone that is so true jay they isolate people that's what they do. They isolate people and that's how they kind of get them. You know, you might, you might be a strong person. You might be able um, to leave, but you know, you might not be, uh, you, you might not, you, you're, you're trapped and you might not have an outlet or somewhere to go. You know, um, I was just checking something real quick. You guys, I thought I got a notification. Right, Patrice. You're right about that. And we'll, shout out to Patrice. Thank you for joining the show. Oh, also, I want to say a uh, shout out to Shell. Shout out to um, Andrea Nelson. Um, shout out to Ruby Girl. Shout out to Wendy Lucas. Um, shout out to uh, Matilda's mom, a.k.a. also known as Wendy, too. I just wanted to make sure that I give a few shout outs to people. Oh, and Stephanie Lucas as well, too. She had sent me a PayPal and um, I didn't see it until after the show and I forgot to shout her out. So thank you to everybody and all my members and moderators, of course. All right. So moving on. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and give this 30 seconds just in case because, you know, people be like, AT2, nobody watches your video. But I'm going to leave this up here because maybe we can help somebody tonight. So I'm going to do a 30 second countdown. Be right back, people. I done took down the damn number and now I can't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to leave that up there. Um, I'm going to do a silent countdown in my head. Um, but yes, uh, like I said before, you guys, if you're ever in a situation and need help, please uh, reach out to this phone number right here. Um, and there's a lot of resources, especially for women. There's a lot of resources to get you help. So this is just one of the many. So please um use that number if you ever need to thank you and thank you starfish for reposting it as well too i appreciate that all right so moving on to um uh, interviewing youtubers now you know i've been saying like oh i kind of want to stay away from youtubers and stuff like that because i don't know who i can trust which is still true and valid um but um, I, I, I do like doing interviews and I do like knowing, getting to know people and I do like, um, being able to have discussions with people. Um, I think, um, one, like, this is going to be trippy, but one interview that I would like to do is, um, interviewing subscribers and i'm not talking about the messy subscribers that be in everybody chat causing drama and stuff like that like random subscribers like i would love to interview angel um ruby girl you know people like that and like get their takes on like the different stuff going on in youtube and kind of you know get an opinion from a subscriber and maybe we can learn how to be better as content creators and um you know, uh, just grow and, you know, and they can give us suggestions of what they would like to see, um, what they would like to happen and stuff like that. So I think that would be a dope idea. Um, I know I had been talking about, you know, wanting to um, interview So Debonair. Um, 
I, I'm still open to that idea, but I think So Debonair is in a space where he's very sensitive and he might not want to answer certain questions and stuff like that because it would be a thing where, no, I don't want to interview you if I can't ask you this or that or that or this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, uh, like, because basically um, I can ask you like, oh, so how is your day going or stuff like, I don't want to ask you those stupid questions. Nobody gives a damn about that. People want to know what they want to know. And if I give them a low ball interview, they're going to be pissed off. So, <laughs> you know, and I understand right now he's very sensitive and he needs to protect himself. So definitely, um, uh, you know, I would be open for it, but it has to be a real interview. It can't be no sugar coating and shit like that. And, you know, I would never, uh, oh, thank you, Miss Ernestine. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I would never disrespect him or try to trip him up on something and try to expose him or anything like that. It's just that if it's going to be low ball, there's no point in us doing that. Um, I wanted to read this uh, comment from Toria real quick, though. Um, also encourage everyone to watch uh, Black and Missing, November 23rd, HBO, four-part series. Oh, okay. Um, Foundation Reunite Over 300 Girls. i seen an interview with, the, uh, with these women. I forgot their name, though, but i seen an interview with them. Um, I think that, that I think I know what you're talking about, please. And there's, um, actually another, um, I want to do a video about it, uh, but I wanted to get more details because there's not really a lot of details going on, but there's another little girl that's missing. She's, um, why do I want to say Boston for it's somewhere on the East coast. Um, this little girl is missing and there's hardly any media coverage, hardly any details, um, I definitely want to bring attention to that. Also, as well, um, the boys, um, um, Orson, Orson, Orrin West, they're still missing. And we're coming up on a year, December 21st. So it's crazy thinking about that right now. Uh, thank you, Miss Joel, for the super sticker. I appreciate that. Uh, missing black people, um, black people back uh, with their, uh, oh, putting missing black people back to their family, uh, back with their families because uh, uh, Nat, is it Nat, is Natalie and Derica? Okay, Natalie and Derica Wilson. Okay. Thank you, Toria, for that information. I appreciate that. Mm, I'm just trying to catch up on anything. Okay. 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 I got mostly everything. Okay. Y'all just talking amongst yourself. Okay. But yeah, I think that would actually be a good discussion. I actually wanted to do something like, uh, like a show like every day, not every day, like, uh, like a weekly show where we talk about, you know, missing, uh, uh, missing people, uh, especially missing people of color. Um, uh, because as we know, you know, people of color, uh, well, specifically, I could say this, Black people don't get the same media coverage when we're missing. Um, we saw that with uh, Gabby Petito, and we're not saying Gabby Petito um, didn't have, didn't deserve justice or the right to be, you know, for, to, she. we're not saying that she didn't deserve the right not to have media coverage. It's just a well-known fact that when it comes to minorities or black people, they do not get the same media coverage. Specifically, black people, they look as run more runaways than they're actually missing. So if a, if a black person goes missing, they're looked at as a runaway. They're not looked at as like, oh my God, we need to find where they are. So this is factual information. So anybody about to debate me, bring that ass on. I'm ready to debate. But uh, anyway, moving on. Oh, oh. D damn it, that's just my bed. Luckily, I didn't show. Luckily, I wasn't naked or something. <laughs> we don't need a story for them to run with, you know? Um, Another person that I would like to interview, and I said this before, I said I would like to interview Hear Her because Hear Her, um, she's this girl that kind of um she's been shaking up the internet and stuff like that and she literally hear her literally just got on youtube like two weeks ago but she's been shaking up the internet and and people she's been getting her name trending and i have to say this no matter no matter what people think about her and stuff like that 
she know i think she knows a little bit about social media like i don't know who the, i don't know who she is per se i just know the persona that she portrays on youtube if that makes sense um but i think hear her would be a great interview but like I said before, she would have to show her face. Like, I'll get dressed up, and then she gets dressed up, too. We do an interview. I ask those hard-hitting questions. You know, no BS, no third person, no talking in circles and shit. No, answer my damn questions. I think that would be a great interview. And then especially, you know, getting to ask her and, like, finding out who she is. You know what I mean? Finding out who she is as a person. I think that would be a uh, dope interview. Um, another person that I would like to, um, interview is, um, mm, I'm going to save that one for last. I'm going to save that one for last. Um, I, uh, I had another idea, not necessarily an interview, but a show idea. It, it was going to be a moderator panel. And basically it would be like a moderator meeting, but for everyone to see. And then, like, you know, we just kind of shoot the shit and, like, you know, like, it'll be cool to have, like, my moderators on camera and stuff like that. Not all of them if they don't want to, but some of my moderators have them on camera and stuff like that. I think um, that that would be a great idea. Thank you, Kennedy. I appreciate that. Oh, I would like to interview Brown Skin Lady, too. Y'all know Brown Skin Lady 81. I think we it, it would be hilarious and we would just be cracking up the whole time. Um, another person I would like to interview in these YouTube streets, Cups of Conversations. I said this on my membership, but I just want to say shout out to her because she did a great video, um, uh, uh, two, I think now officially two days ago, uh, did a great video and, you know, she put so much information and it tied up a lot of loose ends because in a way, even though me and Cups, um, me and Cups are connected in different ways. You guys will never understand it until, you know, me and her get on the screen together and put the puzzle pieces together. You guys will never understand how me and Cups are connected. But I, I love Cups uh, conversation and I would definitely like to have her on my show as well, too. Um, someone else who I would like to interview. Let, let's shake this shit up. Let's shake it up for a minute. Let's shake this shit up. I'm going to say the name of the person I want to interview, right? Y'all going to put a, either a one in the chat for yes or put a two in the chat for no. After I say who this person is, who I, like, who I would like to interview, put a one in the chat for yes, put a two in the chat for no. But someone... Who and I ran this by my uh by Mina, so Mina knows who I'm talking about. The person who I would like to interview, Nosy Ho. <laughs> right, but she would never. Yeah, she would never. We know that she would not she would not do it, but I feel that you know, this lady is off of YouTube, but she is still relevant. Like no matter what you think, like I have my own personal thoughts about her. Let's be honest about that. I have my own personal thoughts. But to not be on YouTube and still have relevancy, whether it's good or bad, what she we will remember good or bad or indifferent she left a mark on youtube we have to remember that yeah you're right angel yes is um one was yes no matter what you have to remember but here's the thing it can't be no low ball interview where i don't want to answer this i don't want to answer that because ain't nobody gonna watch that shit we want to have the hard hitting questions 
and we got questions that we want. Um, you, I've been seeing the whole she's back. And she, um, uh, I said the whole, the whole, the whole, I meant W H O L E, the whole she's back and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't really look at it. Um, when it comes to like the videos and stuff like that, I don't thank you, Pat see, Patrice, Patrice knows what I'm talking about. Um, but, um, you know, there, there's a lot that we want to know. Um, uh, we, we want to know, you know, um, there, I don't even want to say all the questions and shit like that because I want to save it. I want it to be special. Um, everyone, everyone will watch, even the folks that hate knows the exactly, exactly. And I feel that you know me being like an outsider, I think that would be more fair because I mean she's not going to interview people that interview with people that don't like her, and then the people that do like her are not going to ask her questions to offend her because she's not going to want to and stuff like that. Um, reach out she might um but she's not feeling youtube right now i feel like just having her just make a pop-up on her appearance would like really just shake some shit up um excuse me because you know i think there are legit questions when it when it comes to um the MT, uh, because I guess we, we can't say her name. When it comes to the MT lady, there are a lot of questions that we really want to know. Like, hey, like, what was you thinking when you did this? Also, there's questions about, like, you know, just all the, all the stuff that's going on and all the things that we hear, just to ask her those questions. And it doesn't have to be all of them, just a few of them, and that can lead to all this other stuff. Um, just to shut some, either either own up to it or shut the shit down. That's what I'm saying. It would be a great interview for uh, the future. I don't think that would happen like tomorrow. <laughs> yo, yo, Angel. But here's the thing. Like, she would cuss me out, right? But that shit would be entertaining. <laughs> and no, you know what I mean? It's not that I would... Let, let, let me clarify that too because I know somebody going to chop this shit up and then send it to her and it's going to look worse than what I said but the thing is is that I, I, I don't want to basically have an interview where I'm just like trying to antagonize or attack somebody no that's not what I'm saying you know what I mean that's not what I'm saying at all but you know if we can have a conversation and we can talk you know just like a regular conversation we can talk about things you know if she doesn't want to answer something she can say i don't want to answer that but i want to be like you need to tell people why you did this why did you do this and da 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 da, -da. you know another question that um people don't bring up but we want to know like what's her relationship with jaguar right we want to know like how come like we don't see jaguar right on your show or like how come we don't, you know, there's, there's things that we want to know because, um, when it came to, you know, the Jaguar, right. Is really when, um, uh, my channel grew and stuff like that. So, you know, there's, there's stuff about that, that we want to know. There, there's a lot of different questions that we want to know about, you know? So I think that one would really shake up. It would shake up things and it's shit. There's questions that we have, you know? So I think that would be a good one. Um, there was there was somebody else. Oh, and of course, um, the so uh, the not really an interview, not really an interview with this person, but I feel that our conversation would have to be re uh, have to be on record and it would have to be recorded because I feel there would be a lot of missing pieces and stuff like that. I would love to have a talk with Hood Life Chronicles. I will say that. I would love to have a conversation on camera with her just so that I can talk through a few things, but I don't want the talking in circles and I don't want the BS. I would want all truth. And like I said, it would have to be something that's recorded. That's the only reason why I would do that on camera is because it would have to be recorded without no bullshit. What's up, Cooter Brown? <laughs> Thank you for joining the show. 
But um, I um wanted to let you guys know that it, today is my cousin's birthday. Um, he is turning 14, so we are going to um try to figure out some stuff to do. You know, we're going to do bowling, laser tag, um, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's going to be a good birthday. You know, it's still early in Cali. It's only three. So the party going to start later on today. So hopefully, um, you know, we get things going. And um, we're going to have fun. I won't be back tonight because uh, it'll probably be hella late by the time. And then y'all ain't going to care. But I'll probably do like a members, you know, shoot the shit with y'all um, at night. But uh, definitely, uh, thank you. Thank you for the happy birthday. I'll definitely let him know. Actually, let me do a 30-second countdown. Y'all say happy birthday to my cousin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I really do appreciate that. And I just want to say also as well, too, I love how we can have a difference of opinion. And what's up, Mercedes? I forgot to say hi to you earlier. I love how we can have a difference of opinion, but we all love and respect each other. That's one thing about my chat that I will never take for granted. I love each and every one of you. Y'all don't have to rock with me, but y'all do. And I love y'all for that. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. Before I get sentimental, we're going to get up out of here. That's the only time I get sentimental. Um, I want to play a commercial. I was going to play a commercial before we get out of here, but I think I'm just going to get out. I'll save that commercial. I actually got a new commercial. I was going to play it, but I'll save that for a different time. We're going to get out of here, y'all. Deuces. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Hold on. Hold on. Did y'all hit that like button? Let me sing to y'all while I try to find the like button. My eye going to go a little wonky, y'all. I don't really need to look. Very much further. Y'all ain't hit that damn like button. Hit that damn like button right now. Before before y'all do anything, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that damn like button. Y'all over here just in my chat. Um, y'all came over to my house, cook uh fix y'all plate, and didn't even say thank you. Now make sure y'all hit that damn like button right now. I don't really need to look very much further. I don't wanna have to go. Where you don't follow, I won't hold it back again. This passion inside can run. Damn, can we get 50 likes at least? Damn it. Can run for myself. There's no, yeah, come off the, come off the bushes. Don't be afraid. <laughs> What's up, Miss Indy? But don't make me close one more door. I don't want to hurt anymore. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank y'all. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Love y'all. Deuces. We out of here, y'all. And of course, the video did not play. Hold on. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um, uh, hopefully y'all still here. But on Thanksgiving, I will be doing an unboxing. So I'll be doing an unboxing, a mukbang, and a giveaway as well. A Cash App, PayPal giveaway. So a Cash App, pay PayPal giveaway, um, an unboxing, and a mukbang on Thanksgiving. I have not picked the time yet, and I haven't gave the rules yet for the giveaway, but I want to make it something easy, not too difficult and stuff like that but uh we'll definitely go ahead and uh get that done i did want to announce that all right now i'm really out of here y'all deuces <laughs>